Hey, this is Big Mama. Okay, I turned the camera this way because I cannot figure out how to do this without the light that's up there. Let me turn it just for a shake. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean that to happen. Well, that light can be kind of overbearing. And then this one, if I turn it down like that, then you see the beamer coming in like this. And I know, how about that? Is that, <laughs> I gotta have some of the light and I'm trying to get it to where you, those of you who said, Big Mama, I wanna see some of your things. <laughs> you know how to do this, guys. I don't wanna invest a bunch of money and go out and buy all this technology. Just wanna craft. And if I spend money on technology, I'm not going to have money for Hobby Lobby, and i got to have my glue. <laughs> and so I, I'm i working on the Dear Julie Julie project for the month of November 2024. So if you see this 100 years from now, you'll know this is what crazy people look like. This is me. Just I, I'm up. I'm dressed. And um, no makeup. I brush my hair, but you can see... Things are having a bad attitude today. The weather is really rainy and nasty, and no matter what I did with my hair, it, it wasn't going to have a good day. And so then I decided, well, if I put my makeup on, then it would make my hair look even worse. So you've got the no makeup, no fancy hair, big mama. So for those of you who complimented me on my hair a couple of videos back, Thank you. Thank you for noticing the difference. Big Daddy, he doesn't know when I get a new haircut. He go, oh, this is different. I'm... <laughs> I love a man who's honest. Um, so anyway, this project. Um, Julie, on this uh, list that she has, it's like a list one, one, two for November. And in this challenge, I've already finished list one, but list two, we're doing elements. And one of the elements was maps. Um, Terry Gifford came to my house a couple of years ago from London um, for a crafting gathering. And she brought these wonderful cards that were that she brought from London. And with them, these envelopes to which I discovered yesterday, <laughs> the inside of the envelope has this. And the part of our list is maps, make something with maps. And so as I was looking at this, I'm like, oh, this would be really, really cool to do on the edge of a page where this is on one side of the page and this is on the other and you've got a pocket. And so I thought, well, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it Big Mama style. So I've got this cool little apparatus, and it is something I got online that is a, I think it's called a Japanese uh, hole maker, <laughs> hole punch. But I got this uh, several years ago. I think it was Tina with Shabby Dabby Doo Dah or um, Pam with the paper outpost that talked about them. And I looked online, typed in the Japanese hole punch thingy. What is cool about this? You just saw me change the tip on it. It comes with several different size tips. And you take and you put it down and it, it does the hole. So let me see if I, now uh, see, Okay, I'm going to move you out of your little cradle. Can you guys handle that? And then I'm going to tilt you down. And I'm going to show you that I'm going to put it here. My paper. <laughs> this is terrible. If you guys if you guys have come this far with me, uh, I'm okay if you send me a bad comment. Like, Big Mama, you're not smart. Don't make videos. I'm okay with that. The way this has on this side right here, if you'll notice, this goes, the English goes this way, and then then it's set that way. And there's this line right here. Yeah, I, I cut my finger. 
<laughs> I gotta, this is the culprit. Yeah. So I got a Band-Aid. Anyway, right there on that line, I thought, well, I don't really want that on my page. And what can I do? And I decided, well, I am going to turn that into one of those slotted openings. So where the, where I tore the, because the envelope had that little flappy there and where I tore it apart, you can see that it has that gnarly look, but it's the same distance on each side. So that's where I'm going to put my little holes. That's how I determine the math there is what's it look like? Well, it looks like I need a hole there. And it looks like I need a hole there. So I got my two little holes. See, I've got my holes. And then I'm going to take my metal ruler. And I'm going to give... Now, I'm going to use a different knife because I'm still mad at the pink one. So I'm going to go green. Uh, there you go. So I'm going to go green. And so you take on one side of the hole. You take and do a slice leaving your fingers out of it. And then you push it over to the other side of that little hole and cut. And I just cut the sliver out of there. So now I have that slot. So I just wanted to show you I did that because I know you guys think I'm a genius and I am not. I am not at all. But now when I when I take and I close this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue this part down too. And when I bring this in like that, is that light too bright? I don't want to make it to where you guys can't see because it's too bright. But see, now that one is too, too bright. Oh, the struggles we go through for you guys. All right, you're my friends, though. You told me to make these videos. I did. Okay, so I did all of that so that on this side, when this goes, let me get my page that I'm going to put it on. I'm going to have that on that page like that. Okay. So it's going to go on the page like on the edge of the page. And you can see that you've got that here to slide things in. But since while it's on the edge of the page, when you flip it open like this, I'm also I'm going to glue this down right here. So it's a pocket on the other side, but look, I still have that journaling spot right there. And then I have this page part that has got material on it. And so I think I'm going to eventually maybe put some corners on here so you can slip a journaling card in there. That'll be for another video. But this will be glued down. And now you've got that pocket here, but then you've got this journaling, still got a little bit of a journaling space. So... I was pretty thrilled over the fact that I had that envelope that had the map in it, so I get to do something different with the map, and I am going to have a little pocket there. Wanted to share with you. I hope it turned out okay, and that you guys won't say, Big Mama, next time, fix your hair and do your makeup. You guys are amazing. I thank you so much for being my friends and that we are all crafters together in this community that can maybe every once in a while make fun of each other. I wanted to be your punching bag today. Take care. Bye-bye.